Hey, 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 how is it going again, Guardians? LV Native here with another Destiny video for you. Well, it is Cinco de Mayo, more importantly, it is Friday. Zur is back in the tower. Let's go ahead and pop in and see what he's got for us. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a real quick look at the feature comment of the day. And today's comment comes to us from Ferris Khan. And he says, I think I should be the feature comment of the day because I got my Warlock to 400 light. Well, congratulations on doing that, man. And remember, guys, if you want to be the feature comment of the day, all you got to do is smack that like button, drop a comment in the section below, and I just might pick yours to be the very next featured comment of the day. Okay, so you can see Zur is back over here in the war room off to the right hand side. Let's go ahead and see what goodies he's got for us today. Starting things off with the legacy engrams. Again, guys, just skip them. Save your strange coin for something more valuable. For your titans, you've got the Twilight Garrison with an intellect and discipline roll. This is the one that's going to give you that airborne evade just by pressing the circle twice. Very, very fun exotic to use. If you don't already have one, highly recommend picking this up. For your hunters, you get the Don't Touch Me's with the intellect and strength roll. This is the exotic where taking damage from a melee attack makes you briefly go invisible. Very, very useful for running the very beginning of Crota's End. Not so much anywhere else in the game. You could definitely do without these. And for your Warlocks, we have got the Void Fang Vestments with an Intellect and Discipline roll. Spawn with full grenade energy and your Axion Bolts gets an additional Seeker. Decent exotic and it can be really fun in Trials to always make sure you have grenades. So again, if you don't have this in your collection, you may want to think about adding it. The weapon he is bringing us is the Mita Multi-Tool. Now this should need no introduction guys, this is a fantastic weapon, pretty good in any scenario that you can put it into. The big uh, thing on this is that it's just always reliable. Very very long range, able to do consistent 4 taps to the head. Very very cool weapon to have indeed. If you don't already have one, definitely do not hesitate and pick this guy up. You can use it in almost any scenario and you could do a lot worse. For your weapon bundles, this time we have the Monte Carlo with the Royal Flush and we also have the Zalo Supercell with the Shock Hazard, both of which will run you 30 Strange Coin and 25 Silver Dust. And for your Curios, we're all the same here, Plasma Drive and Void Drive, the 3 and 10 pack of the Heavy Ammo Synthesis, 3 of Coins and the Glass Needles to reroll any of those exotic armor pieces. And also, if you're running short on materials, they've got the Motes of Light and the Exotic Shards for you as well. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up, guys. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful and useful. If you did, do me a favor, make sure you smack that like button. And in the comments section below, I want to know what do you think of Zer's inventory this week? And also, what would you like to see him bring next week? But as always, Guardians, this is LV Native. You guys are awesome, and I will see you in the next one.